Hey everybody, I'm back in the Hilti Concrete Sensors Lab. And today I'm here to talk with you about the different sensor types that we have. Now, Hilti Concrete Sensors, they help you monitor temperature and strength in real time so that you can make better construction decisions about your concrete. Let's start with a quick overview about the different types of sensors that we have. Our concrete sensors use the same mobile app. It's called Hilti Concrete Sensors. It actually, the logo looks just like that right there. The biggest difference between our sensors is the technology that they use. And this is gonna determine the way that the data is collected. Let's start with our T1 sensor. It looks just like this. Our T1 sensors, they use Bluetooth technology to connect to your phone. And that's how the data is transmitted. So if you're walking around your project on a daily basis, all you really need to do is take your phone out, open up the Hilti Concrete Sensors app. It'll then connect to the sensors on site and that's how you get the data. Now, our T2 sensors, they work a little bit differently. The T2 sensors, they use long range wireless technology, connect to a gateway. The gateway then sends the data up to the cloud. So this is a fully automatic data collection system. You can be sitting anywhere in the world as long as you have wireless, tech, wireless connectivity pull up the Hilti Concrete Sensors app and see what's happening in the concrete on your project. Now, an important thing to know when using T2 sensors, the gateway needs to be within a thousand foot range so that it can connect to the sensors. Now that we know the differences between our sensors, let's talk about what they have in common. So both T1 and T2 sensor types should be installed within six inches of the surface of your concrete. This is to make sure that the signal can escape the concrete and connect to your phone or connect to a gateway. Now, if you need to monitor deeper than six inches, we recommend you use a cabled version of our sensor. Both T1 and T2 sensor types come in cabled versions and they come in preset lengths. So we have a three foot cabled version, an eight foot cabled version, and a 15 foot cabled version. Now, the way that these work, they have you know, your transmitter or your head part of your, your cabled sensor this is gonna be installed within six inches of the concrete. And then the probe or the tail end of your sensor is gonna be installed at the depth that you need to monitor. Now, an example of when you would use a cabled version of our sensor is if you're working with mass concrete and you need to monitor at the surface, at the core, or at the bottom of your concrete. Or maybe you're just working with a very deep concrete pour and you need to measure two feet down. Both good examples of when you would use a cabled version of our sensor. A couple other things that they have in common, they both use the same app, they're both light activated, and their installation techniques are also both very similar. Now we have a different video for activation and installation. I suggest you check it out, it's on our website. I'm sensing that it's time to wrap this one up. Let's quickly recap. The biggest difference between our sensors is the technology that they use to transmit data. Our T1 sensor, it uses Bluetooth technology to connect to your phone, tablet, or whatever mobile device you're using, and that's how the data is transmitted or collected. Whereas our T2 sensor, this uses long-range wireless technology, connects to a gateway, and then the gateway transmits the data up into the cloud, which is a fully automatic collection method. Now, both sensors have a ton in common as well. They each come in cabled versions with preset lengths of 3 feet, 8 feet, and 15 feet. This is good for when you need to monitor different temperatures at different depths. They also share same activation and installation methods. More information on our sensors can be found on our website or feel free to shoot us an email. It's concrete sensors at Hilti.com. That's my time. I hope this video helps you better understand which sensor type is best for your next project. I'll see you on the next one.